Uh, good afternoon. I'm Superintendent Anthony Furavati, the officer in charge of Western District. Uh, yesterday morning at around four o'clock, police responded to a fire at a residential premises in Rosewater. Uh, an unknown person set fire to the front of that house. The fr front of the premises was doused with an accelerant and fortunately it was uh, quickly put out by the residents with minimal damage and no injury to any person present. However, unfortunately this morning at around 4.30, we had a similar incident at the same premises at Rosewater. The occupants went outside to investigate uh, the sound of breaking glass and they were confronted with being, uh, having Molotov cocktails or bottles with accelerants in them thrown at them. Unfortunately, one of the bottles hit the door frame and then ricocheted and hit one of the occupants in the head. Fortunately, the injuries uh, were, were very minor. The occupant was treated by SAS uh, at the scene uh, and uh, no other treatment was required. Once again, the damage was minimal. However, this incident really did have potential for someone to be seriously injured or even worse, killed with such an irresponsible act. Two males were involved uh, at both, uh, both times, yesterday and today. And we're looking, currently looking for, not only for those males, but for a light coloured Camry Toyota sedan, which is linked to both incidents. So we make an appeal to the public to come forward if you have any information that can help us at all. While the motive is unknown, at this stage, the crimes appear to be targeted and they're not random. It is, however, a concern that the threat to property and life has escalated since yesterday to this morning and we are doing everything we can to apprehend the offenders and put a stop to their reckless and dangerous acts. Are you going to put the house under surveillance? Uh, we're taking all measures that we can at the moment to make sure that the occupants uh, and the residents in that street are as safe as possible. Do residents recognise the woman? Uh, no, uh, fortunately they've given us descriptions. Uh, the residents have been very cooperative, so hopefully with those descriptions and help from other members of the public, we will be able to make uh, swift arrests. What do you think is behind it? We, at this stage, talking to the witnesses, they have, or at this stage, talking to the occupants, uh, they are unaware of the motive. So there's quite a few lines of inquiries uh, that we're actually going down at the moment to try and uh, determine a motive, which will hopefully lead us to the offenders. So who lives in that house? Is it just a couple or is it a family? Uh, only two people live in the house uh, and every now and then they have other people that come and live or come and stay just for uh, short periods of time. Or relatives or? Uh, yes, a relative. Do you, do you think drugs could be involved? Well, at this stage, I wouldn't like to surmise, you know, what the motive is or what is involved. Uh, but as I said, we're very early into our investigations and we're, we're going down every line of inquiry that we can. Are the residents known to police? The, 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 uh, we had no concern uh, with the residents of these premises. Uh, they, are up, they are upstanding citizens and they've been very cooperative and helping us with our investigations. It hasn't been targeted uh, that I'm aware of. What about the people? Have they been targeted in some way before, vandalism, cars, whatever? Uh, not that I'm aware of. And talking to the, the occupants of the house, they have no idea why this is actually happening to them. How bad could it be, potentially? Oh, potentially. Uh, someone could lose their life uh, as a result of those reckless and dangerous acts. Uh, and our concern really is how it's gone from uh, some petrol possibly being poured on a porch yesterday and lit to Molotov cocktails being thrown today, which can have, uh, obviously, uh, catastrophic consequences. So I understand the people came out of the house and while they came out of the house, the guys were still throwing the Molotov cocktails at them in the front yard. So is that the case? Yeah, well, what happened is they came out because they heard breaking glass. So that was as a result of Molotov cocktails being thrown at the house. Uh, we don't know whether it was intentional for one of them to hit uh, one of the occupants. However, it did hit the, the door frame and ricocheted and, and hit one of the occupants in the head, unfortunately. Could you just clarify, do you um, believe that it is this same two men two nights in a row and the police have an idea on who those men are? No, at the moment, uh, we have got numerous lines of inquiries. 
Uh, however, we're unsure as to who the actual offenders are, and that's why we do need any help out there from the public, if they've got any information at all in relation to the male offenders or the light-coloured Toyota Camry that we think is involved. So the same people both ones? Yeah, we, we believe so at this stage. You mentioned that the resident gave a description of what the two men looked like. Are you able to elaborate on what that is? Uh, I can. Uh, we, we can give you those details, uh, but I haven't got that in front of me. Uh, and I think that was might have been in the media release. Superintendent, pretty brazen. Is that how you describe it? I mean, they've come back for a second go almost to the minute 24 hours later. That's pretty in your face, isn't it? Uh, oh, it is. I mean, it's brazen, it's irresponsible, it's actually stupid. I mean, do they really understand the consequences or what the consequences could be of what they're doing? And we're taking that very seriously because uh, lives could have been lost uh, and that is, is not acceptable. So if they come back tomorrow morning, will you be there? Uh, we're putting different strategies in place uh, to hopefully apprehend the offenders prior to that. Uh, actually occurring again for the possibility for them to re-offend. Uh, however, the welfare and safety of the residents is one of our main concerns at the moment. Are they going to stay in the house? Uh, I'm not aware if they are. Uh, we are talking to them. We've got victim contact officers, uh, members of our uh, CIB that have spoken to them, and we're going to put measures in place to ensure that they are uh, as safe as possible. Would you encourage them to leave? Uh, yes, definitely. Uh, especially, I mean... Without knowing a motive, it's really hard to, to know whether they're going to come back or not. So we're going to be encouraging them to do uh, what they can for their own safety, uh, and that is to leave. So if you, don't, if you don't know a motive and you say they're fine, upstanding citizens, why do you say this is not a random attack? Well, we, we would say it's not a random attack just purposely, just for the fact that it's happened at the same place two nights in a row at around the same time. But yesterday... Well, because I suppose the the acts uh, of actually pouring an accelerant on a on a porch and then lighting it, you know, that doesn't seem to be a, an opportunistic sort of act, uh, and it would be for some reason it would be, appear to be targeted. So at this stage, it appears to be targeted. Uh, however, I suppose we won't know until we actually apprehend the offenders. Are there lives in danger? Couples. Their their life was definitely in. I mean, fortunately, there's been min there was minimal damage, so, so we don't know if they were trying to scare the occupants or they actually wanted to do something a bit more sinister.